it really shows the impact to the audience. It shows something that just, wow, okay, I see it. Oh my gosh. All right. This is content that I'm excited about. It's content that a client's going to be wowed by. They're going to be excited by. They're going to be engaged. They're going to be energized by. It's something that's going to be um, essentially uh, standing apart. Something that's going to be like, oh my gosh, like this is going to make me stand out from everybody else, okay? Really, really, really important. So when I'm showcasing content like this, this is something that, you know, these are images that are styled by celebrity stylists. Um, they are, uh, they're uh, images that are powerful. They're images that are iconic. They're also images that essentially could stand on their own. Like, in fact, this image right here, I shot this years ago, but I still love this image because it was from a an editorial I did um, from the TV show Mad Men. And I actually, this image, um, the um, uh, CFO of MGM Studios actually purchased this image on a giant canvas print. I think it ended up being like five feet by seven feet that I printed for him. And he put it in his house um, that's on the beach in um, Manhattan Beach on the Strand. And this image, um, you know, it's what I would consider an iconic image because it's very complex. It's sophisticated. It's well art directed. And if you actually look at the details, you know, there's even sketches from campaigns that they actually were art directing in the show. So maybe you guys have seen Mad Men. It's all about creative director in the 1960s. Um, and uh, and then it, it's a whole story about, you know, the characters that were, you know, were back then through an ad agency, right? So in addition to casting top models from Ford, Elite, and Wilhelmina that emulated the characters, I also had a sketch artist sketch out the actual campaigns from the show. And of course we included like the, the whiskey and the cigars, the typewriter and all that made it a period piece. But anyway, but just showcasing something that I would consider an iconic image, right? These are, those are images that are impactful and powerful and are going to make the audience excited, right? So when I'm contacting say IMG or Elite or Next or Vision or, you know, Ford models, they're going to be like, oh yeah, all right. You know, I see this work. You've got, you know, models from Vogue and Vanity Fair. All right, excellent. All right, Kevin, you're in our club. You know, yeah, yes, here, I'm going to provide you with all these other amazing models uh, that you can now cast and have access to. So I guess what I'm saying is not only is your website critical for booking more clients, but it's also critical in your production itself. Now, I had a great photographer named Charles Randolph Warren who um, started working with me several years ago, and he was a portrait photographer and really wanted to grow. He wanted to get big, and he didn't really have much of much work at all, had, had kind of a mediocre website with low-end portrait photography at the time. And Charles, I worked personally with him at our LA workshop, at our New York workshop, and we even did a one-on-one -on -one together. And with those images, Charles was able to catapult himself and create an entire new brand. And now he's shooting for Dolce Gabbana. He's shooting for Harper's Bazaar. He's shooting for Vogue. He's shooting for Cosmopolitan. He's shooting for La Ficielle. He's shooting for all these major magazines and campaigns. And it's something that I get really proud about because when I can, you know, if, if you're Charles, for instance, who's, you know, one of my protégés, if you're Charles and you're now reaching out to, um, you know, maybe he wants to shoot for Burberry or maybe he wants to shoot for Chanel or Gucci or Louis Vuitton. Well, now that he has this body of work, this website, which I like the website too. It's nice. It shows his work. It shows the publications he's done recently, um, including major brands like Dolce Gabbana, Fila, Lee, Jeans, you know, these, ma these major um, brands. But then he also has really wonderful content and it even showcases like a full story. I really like that, you know? So I think that you know, this is a very uh, effective way of showcasing your work. Um, I would say... Um, you know, it's a great cosmopolitan Kazakhstan editorial, which I love. And, you know, he does it a little bit more with like that Instagram style where there's multiple images on a page. And, um, you know, and then of course, you know, you can click on one to, you know, to see it larger. Um, you know, I think that's a cool way of doing it. Um, and he has this great kind of fashion lifestyle, um, you know, uh, really cool method. I, I believe this was actually shot in Brazil, but it's for Cosmopolitan Kazakhstan. Um, and then, uh, you know, he's been doing all this great stuff down in Brazil and creating all these great editorials, showcasing as the editorials, um, and also showcasing some, you know, major branding campaigns like you do for Fila, it's, you know, et cetera, and showcasing actual client work. I love this. I love this. So, you know, what this tells me, if I'm a client, it tells me that not only is he a major published photographer, 
uh, in major magazines and stuff like Vogue and um, ha Harper's Bazaar and Cosmo and La Ficielle and stuff like that. Um, but it also shows me that, uh, you know, that he's shooting um, uh, the campaigns. He's actually shooting a Lee Jeans campaign. You know, that's a big deal, shooting a Lee Jeans campaign, right? So, you know, major brands are trusting him with this amazing work. And, you know, and Charles, it all started just by attending one of my epic photographic workshops um, that he did uh, years ago to create this mind blowing content. And, um, and it really helped catapult him to start landing these huge opportunities, which is really exciting. It's really fantastic. And I'm really, really proud of somebody like Charles. And now when I go to his website, I'm like, wow, and dazzled. So this would be a great example of a strong, powerful brand that Charles is putting forward. And I'd recommend you guys do the same. Um, and it, especially if you're going after editorial or uh, commercial work. And if you're going after portraiture and weddings, I also similar kind of vibe here. I, I don't mind doing a similar type of format here. I really like it. This is something that's really cool. Obviously, I have a little bit different style. Mine is a bit more heavy impact, full bleed image across the whole page. And then it's just kind of a story of different images together like that in a row. You know, so it's a little bit different of a style, but Charles is, I, I like how it's kind of has that almost Instagram style. It's, I think it's really strong. Um, okay. So and we have some other amazing photographers that have attended um, our workshops that I want to showcase their work because, you know, what better way to showcase, um, you know, who better to showcase than some of our amazing successful photographers. Um, and I know the great uh, David Giesbrecht, uh, he is on, um, he's an incredible photographer. He was a uh, key photographer for, um, uh, House of Cards and a lot of major TV shows and films um, for Netflix and um, Apple TV and all kinds of amazing opportunities. And then he created this incredible body of work uh, that he has shot uh, through our workshops as well to really add a substantial um, you know, product of what he can showcase of who he, you know, what he can photograph and create these amazing images. This was at a Chicago workshop, for instance. Um, this is also Chicago. This is New York, uh, the, uh, this this one right here. Um, but showcasing some really high-end work. Now, this I also like how David does this, where his website, um, it showcases, um, it just kind of flips between a few images based upon if you put on fashion, lifestyle, portrait. I think that's kind of clever. Um, portrait is more of his like celebrity work. Fashion, obviously, is this amazing fashion content. Most of this is all shot at our workshops. And then lifestyle as well, which is also commercial lifestyle advertising. This was also shot at our Chicago workshop, just to give you an idea. And then he has a video section. So really strong. I really like the layout of this website. Um, and, and of course, the work speaks for itself. Because when you go to this, um, and I would say that... Um, I love this 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 method. It's a great way of showcasing David the different things that you do, but starting with kind of a homepage right here, where you've got fashion, lifestyle, portrait. I even though I generally like to separate fashion and lifestyle, if you are going to keep them together, I like a landing page like this, where it's a really clean landing page that um, that David has. Um, I also love how on the front page here, if you scroll down, you look at all his contact information. So David's a smart guy. He wants to be accessible. He's got his studio address. He's got his email address, his phone number, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Everyone can find him. Okay. If you guys don't have your contact information on your website, you are already shooting yourself in the foot and you're losing out on a tremendous amount of opportunity, a tremendous amount of photographic projects that are not even calling you or reaching out to you because they can't, because they don't have your phone number. So if you have a web form on your website, um, please get rid of it. There's no reason to have a webinar, uh, web form in 2023. I mean, that that's old school and it's not something that a lot of people like to fill out. I know I hate filling those things out. Um, if, I, if I'm you know, trying to book somebody for something, I'm not going to fill out a silly web form. I want to contact them directly. I want to text them, call them, or email them, um, or all three. I don't ever want to have to fill out a web form and then and then wait for them to you know to contact me back. That's silly, okay? And I want you guys to think think about that because if you are not booking as many uh, photo shoots as you'd like, it's probably because people aren't contacting you because they might not even have your contact information. So definitely put the contact information out there, just like David has. I love this, David. This is absolutely brilliant. And it's just another method. And I really like your method of what you showcase. And by the way, the images here, like this image right here that he shot our Chicago workshop, this image wows my pants off. Like this is the most incredible image 
uh, of lifestyle. One of my favorites I've ever seen. It's it can go in so many different directions. Not only from like say um, free people campaign. Uh, or Zimmerman or Philly Boo or one of those major, uh, you know, fashion boho lifestyle brands, but it could also go in the direction of um, health and wellness. It could go into the direction of a beverage company, or um, uh, it could go into the direction of financial, um, you know, in the, because I've seen so many campaigns that look like this for, you know, Wells Fargo or Bank of America or something like that. Fun, energized, happy, healthy people having fun, enjoying life and just beautiful lighting absolutely stunning. Um, and I love this. And David, I would say that the only critique I would give is I would probably make these images larger, even maybe even make them full bleed so that there appear, uh, there isn't this big white space above. Other than that, though, I'm I'm very happy with the layout here. This is, this is absolutely beautiful, beautiful content showcase this amazing story. Um, and the only other thing is that, you know, um, you're, I also generally recommend that you have put enough content on there so that you don't have to repeat same scene, same shot from the same scene. So for instance, since there's multiple shots from the same scene, I would rather have every single shot as a different, every single image as a different wardrobe change, you know, because in a magazine editorial, every single, um, uh, only they'll only put one outfit on one page and then that's done and then they move on. Right. So, uh, but absolutely stunning work, David, really, really impressed at your website. Um, and I, this is a great method of doing it. And as you can tell guys, these are some of the, the content that I'm showcasing to you guys. These are websites designed and built by photographers that have attended these Epic workshops. And the thing is, is oftentimes, you know, we're a lot of photographers, they're, they're trying to market themselves. They're trying to build more clientele. They're trying to book more clients. They're trying to um, become better photographers and more successful. But without that world-class brand, without that world-class content that to really market yourself and take yourself up to up a notch, just like David Gaisbrecht or um, just like um, uh, Charles Randolph Warren or Jane Ritchie or any of these amazing photographers I'm showing you, unless you have that content, you're never going to be able to rise to that level because you can't just immediately walk into, you know, Vogue magazine or contact Versace and just, you know, or Burberry and just have them book you, you know, based on what they need to know that you have worked with top models before, that you've worked with top designers before, that you've been published, that you are featured. And even if you haven't been published, or even if you haven't been featured or won awards yet or anything, at least you can build content that looks like it's award-winning, that looks like it's massive scale production that can get you to the top, that looks like it's at, you know a scale of $100,000 a day production, just like we produce at these amazing workshops. And that's something that... Um, Obviously, I get really excited about because it's something that is uh, very doable and it's something that will catapult your photography to the highest level just by attending these epic experiences. And by the way, I just put a poll out. Um, I'm going to showcase the results right now. Uh, which photographic workshops you guys are interested in attending? It looks like the majority of you actually wanted the Newport workshop, which is coming up next week. It is a mind-blowing experience. I'm really happy that you guys... Um, uh, mentioned that that's one that you guys want to attend. Um, it has been sold out um, for months now, but we do have one spot left, one just very, very one spot. So if you guys did want to uh, come to that, uh, definitely message me now and we can talk about um, seeing if we can squeeze you in. And um, that is an incredible experience that uh, that I can tell you what you will never forget. Um, we are shooting at multi-million dollar mansion estates. Uh, we have unbelievable access to locations, world-class top models, and it's all high-end commercial lifestyle advertising photography that you can market to uh, to, to high-end clientele. In fact, the next photographer that um, I was going to showcase, uh, her website was Jane Ritchie, who's attended several of our workshops from Chicago to Newport Beach, uh, multiple times at Newport Beach to our, I uh, believe, Elite Masterclass to New York. She's done a bunch of incredible productions with us. And this was shot at our Newport Beach workshop. Um, I believe this was two years ago. We shot with alpacas. We had um, chickens. We had, we've shot with Highland cows, with baby goats at the last year's one. We've shot with all kinds of incredible horses. Uh, we've shot with... Um, um, everything under the sun as far as incorporating cool props, animals, uh, vintage vehicles, VW buses, convertibles, um, and then uh, obviously multi-model situations, which are very complex, uh, but also very, very marketable. And also different ages. 
you know, from uh, different ages of models as well, um, from child models to young adult. Um, this was also done at our Miami Beach workshop. This was uh, another lifestyle story where it was a six model scene with heavy diversity, um, every all different types of ethnicities and having this great energy and fun and having this beautiful moment with friends coming together with this great story. I absolutely love this story um, that we shot, uh, not only a photographic version, but also a video version uh, because we're shooting the AK video, um, creating these beautiful lifestyle moments that are great for resort lifestyle advertising and such, um, as well as swim. But uh, Jane's got a beautiful website. I actually really like this style of website um, because maybe it's because it's similar to what I, I've been using, which is essentially um, a... Uh, a beautiful um, uh, full bleed image. I just personally like the full bleed image. I think that that's really strong. Um, I think that having um, being able to see everything is um, is is fantastic. Um, I love um, uh, being able to see uh, the full image all together. So um, that way, it's um, it just to me looks really really clean, and you get to see everything all as impact. You know, and by the way, these are all images shot at the workshop. They're highly impactful. Uh, if you're a portrait photographer like Jane, this is a great opportunity to have some amazing top models to be able to photograph up close and create beautiful portraiture, as well as um, obviously she shot some swim workshops with us, as well as um, lifestyle that yeah, group scenes and then great portrait kind of sequences. Um, but she, this is a really nice curated site that I like from Jane. I think it's really beautiful. Um, she has a lot of um, fun scenes. To me, this would be probably one of my favorites because it's a multi-model sequence. We're shot at the SLS Miami Beach, which is a, an amazing five-star resort um, in Miami. It's a very hip, cool place where there's a lot of party, a lot of action. It's really notorious resort. So it showcases, to me, this looks more like a branding campaign. Right. Um, and it's a multi model situation. So it's a lot more complex than just a single model scene. Um, I really love something like that. She also has some mature models in here, which I think are absolutely beautiful. Um, I love this, love the variation of ages. Um, and she has some, you know, she has some really beautiful work here. But to me, the ones with the most impact are images like this. You know, an image like this, and you can see even the, the little moment with the girl bringing the alpaca into her face about to kiss her. You've got the other two that, you know, um, that are just jumping up and down, smiling, laughing, having the time of their life. To me, this is impact. This is content that will make you a stronger photographer and is going to make you more money. Okay. So this is something that I definitely recommend you have content like this, and especially if you, those of you guys who are interested in, say, the Newport Beach experience. It's a lifestyle experience and something that's right along the lines of creating these happy, healthy, um, these moments with happy, healthy people having fun, enjoying life and experiencing life, uh, because this is key, not only for commercial lifestyle advertising to make the real money, but also in portraiture, um, as well as headshots. Uh, there's a lot of great opportunities. Okay. Now, of course, these are complex. They're, they're, they're high production workshops. You know, we're, we're shooting at multi-million dollar locations. We're getting film permits. We're shooting with, you know, alpacas and baby goats, and we're getting, you know, catered events with massive scale production. I have like four assistants on set, five assistants on set, shooting multiple model situations, sometimes two, three, four, five, even six models in a scene, oftentimes shooting multiple productions simultaneously. So we'll have say three models shooting over here and two models shooting over there, or even three, two, and one, and having maybe in two or three sets photographing simultaneously. It's very, very complex, but, but creating this content that's so high end, it's at a scale of $100,000 a day production over the course of five days, which is, you know, equivalent of a half million dollar production, which is extremely expensive to produce on your own. And that's why we offer the Photography Workshop Series offers these epic experiences. And it's one of the reasons I founded this uh, Photography Workshop Series 14 years ago, because I believed that, you know, we have as photographers, we, we are judged not just on who we are as a photographer, but we're also judged on who's in our images, who the models are, whether they're models or celebrities, who are in our images. And as you can tell, the, the websites I'm showing you guys, these are all top models. You know, whether they're, whether they're lifestyle or whether, you know, they're lifestyle advertising models or whether they're fashion models that have been in Versace campaigns, these are world-class models. And it really makes a difference having world-class top models in our portfolios. Because when you showcase this type of content, that's just, wow, okay, this model's from Vogue. You know, we shot this at our Las Vegas experience, mind-blowing experience. When you showcase something like this, 
it gives a different perception, especially if this is on your homepage of your website or something like this, where it's almost like an artistic landscape, but with this Vogue model or a production scale at like this with a parachute over a water studio or the angel wing, or, you know, with um, these like eagle wings out in um, the desert or, at a, you know, splashing through a water studio or, you know, with an unbelievable dappled horse or creating this story for Flaunt magazine, one of the top fashion magazines um, in the country or shooting with models that have been on the Versace campaign. This really adds to the gravitas of who you are. And it's expensive to produce something like this, to shoot at a castle designed to be identical to King Henry VIII's palace from the 1500s, for instance, like this location. Um, but utilize me. You know, I've been in this industry a long time. And not only do I have access to the greatest locations in the world, um, literally, um, but, and also the top models in the world, you know, that I also, um, uh, you know, you guys are basically using my connections. You're using who I have at my disposal to be able to shoot the most epic images you could possibly imagine, including, you know, shooting at my own location, my own 49 room 13th century castle in France that I own in Massia en Cambrai and that we're holding a workshop at this one as well, which is really exciting. Um, so, you know, whatever location, whether it's one that I own or locations that I have access to, um, I believe that it really catapults you to the higher level if you have that production capability showcased on your website. If you're a wedding photographer, which I am not, but if you are a wedding photographer, you need to have, it. what would it be like? How would it transform your career if you had an image like this on the front of your website when somebody goes to it? And this is not Photoshop 10. This is all shot in real time. And this is a photograph by me. So a fashion photographer that just happens to showcase weddings. And that's what I recommend you guys may want to brand yourself as not just a basic wedding photographer, but a fashion photographer that happens to shoot weddings, shooting with Frisian horses, shooting with a top model from Germany, shooting at this unbelievable 49 room castle in France. Every detail is incredible with this like $20,000 dress and creating this amazing story. And having this as impact on your website, I can just see your name across the top and your portfolio section and you click on the portfolio and you see all these amazing stories at this incredible castle. Well, you could create that at our epic photographic castle workshop production that's happening in September if you guys wanted to attend. It's an incredible experience. It just, I do recommend though, regardless of whether you guys are going to be, you know, attending a mind-blowing photographic workshop with me or whether you um, are going to be producing shoots on your own or whether you go, are going to heavily invest in your photographic marketing this year, whatever it is, I definitely recommend you really start bankrolling how you're going to take your photography to the next level. Because it's not something that you're going to just struggle along and it's going to just work out. It doesn't work that way. It's something where you've got to invest. You really do. And I've had to invest. I've realized that a long time ago that I had to invest heavily in my photographic portfolio to develop world-class production, which takes, it's very expensive to produce shoots like this, but also um, I've got to, you know, to market myself, market the heck out of myself. You know, I use agency access, um, which is a database where I have a database of about 60,000 um, photographic decision makers, such as ad agency, creative directors, directors of marketing at corporations uh, to magazines, uh, in-house design firms, as well as, um, uh, book publishing, et cetera, et cetera. I've got all these clients at my fingertips, but I spend money on that. You know, it's like $1,600 a year for me to have access to market with using that database, whether you're using bikini lists, whether you're using agency access, whatever to market my website, you've got to be able to invest in your photography because if you're not, you know, good luck really trying to rise up. But it's something that I do recommend you guys invest in that as opposed to investing in equipment. That is the one thing I recommend not spending your money on is wasting more money on photographic gear, you know, shooting more, uh, you know, buying more lighting gear, buying new cameras. It's not necessary. Honestly, the cameras that, the, the, that came out about eight, nine years ago are still fantastic cameras today. And you really don't need any special gear these days. You don't need to upgrade to a, you know, to a mirrorless. You don't have to upgrade and buy new lighting equipment. Honestly, I'm still using a lot of the same lighting equipment that I bought many years ago from Profoto that I've, I was able to acquire because I booked campaigns and I had my clients pay for it. 
And that's what I can do to help coach you guys, um, not only through our mentors that um, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one photographic strategy session with, but also um, we can, um, uh, during our elite photographic workshops, we actually discuss it. Um, and by the way, go ahead and click on the link in the chat to schedule your one-on-one -on -one photographic website and portfolio review with one of my elite photographic consultants. And even some of you, a few lucky uh, um, uh, of you guys, of the photographers that do schedule these, will also get to do some reviews with me personally, where I might jump on and give you guys some reviews myself personally. So if you guys want to jump on, it's a great opportunity. It's totally free. And it's something where we can go through your website and actually give you real-time advice and guidance on what you need to do next in your photography to take it to the next level. So definitely take advantage of that. Click on that link. And I really recommend you guys set up your one-on-one -on -one photographic website review because it's something that can be really, really valuable for you going forward. Um, also, I'm just going to look at the polls right now. You guys um, that answered, what is your budget to develop your photographic portfolio? So this is, um, you know, whether you're going to be, um, you know, coming to a photographic workshop or whether you're going to be producing shoots on your own for this year. Um, and I would say that, uh, you know, a good chunk of you guys um, are in the $10,000 plus range. Um, which is fantastic. And then there's quite a few that are in the uh, around the $1,000 range. Well, one, one thing I would tell you guys, that th those of you who said are in the th $1,000 range, I really would recommend that you start looking at how much you want to earn this year in your photography business. Is your website ready to land a ten dollars to $15,000 wedding? Is your website, if you're a commercial photographer, ready to land those $100,000 to $200,000 ad campaigns? Okay, and if it's not, well, maybe we should start looking at allocating a bit more to developing your portfolio because just throwing a thousand dollars your portfolio. I mean, honestly, I don't know where that's going to get you. The models alone that I'm booking for my shoots, you know, they won't even show up for a thousand dollars a day. And, you know, so when you're looking at uh, throwing only a thousand dollars your portfolio for an entire year, I mean, I would do many shoots, several shoots at large scale production because you've got to hire wardrobe styles, hairstyles, makeup artists, models, locations, location fees, um, catering, production, all everything, equipment, it adds up. And that's why I do recommend allocating a larger budget to your photographic website and portfolio. Now, uh, I do get a lot of photographers who ask, what type of website? do you, Should we do something like a WordPress website? Should we sign up for Format or Squarespace or, uh, you know, or, or any of those? Um, I would love to uh, kind of give you guys some guidance on that because I have various websites that I use from all different services and um, site-built ones as well. Um, so, uh, okay, so I would actually recommend, and I'll even show you some of my websites and what they were, where they were designed. Um, so if you guys wanted to look at um, kevinschmitz.com, which is the first one I showed you, um, this one is a format.com website. Format.com, I think I paid like $7 a month for this, super cheap. What I like about this is that it's very easy to change. I can update it really quickly if I needed to, to showcase something to a client. Um, it's also, um, it's very clean. They have a lot of different templates. It never goes down. Never have had it goes down. Go down, and it also looks really nice on a cell phone. It's really nice um, uh, if you see the web version. So, which I think if yeah, if I go a little bit more like this, it looks a little bit more like it does on a cell phone. I think it looks really clean. Um, so uh, this is an example of a format.com website, um, and I think it's you know it's a nice strong one um, that I think looks really nice and also loads um, pretty quickly. Um, I also have um, a few others where um, I have like uh, Squarespace. Um, so uh, in fact, I will actually play you guys or show you guys some of my other um, websites that uh, were actually built on Squarespace. So um, this one is a Squarespace website. This is for my television show uh, productions. And um, it just, it's really simple. It just has a video um, across the front and uh, that, you, that you can play right here. And then it's got a few links to other, other videos. Um, but this is really clean, whether it's photography or whether it's video. Um, I like Squarespace just because it's very mobile responsive. Um, and you can even have streaming video on mobile, which is something that a lot of the other paid uh, pay websites don't offer. So I really like that. Um, and I know uh, some of my websites have it um, streaming on mobile and some of them don't. Um, my other one, Atreyu Productions does. So when you go to atreyuproductions.com, uh, it streams video on mobile, which I really like. So it looks really clean. 
But just to give you an example, so these are a few different uh, versions of websites and ones, and this one I think maybe is 12 to $15 a month or something, it's super cheap, um, still very recommended. I really do like um, that. I've never really had them go down. I've never really had issues with these. Um, I think that uh, it, it's a really nice, clean way to showcase uh, your photography or your video. Um, okay. Um, all right. So uh, I also have some great questions here that I want to answer. Mark Edwards asks, how many photographers attend a workshop and can tell you, uh, tell me more about how time is managed so that everyone can achieve the shots you've been showcasing so far at the location. Um, well, you know what? Um, you know, Felinda uh, Roy, who just asked a private, um, a previous question, she actually is an attendee, um, and she could also probably add and or mention something in the chat as well. Um, and I know many of you guys that are on um, can also answer that question because I have a ton of um, past attendees uh, that are on this webinar right now. I mean, I have dozens of you guys that are that are on li live right now, so it's really great to see you guys, including Crystal Bear. Um, in fact, Crystal. Um, I wouldn't mind even hearing you answer that question uh, if you are willing to um, uh, to talk. Um, I'll uh, um, I'd love to hear your response to that. As far as um, uh, from a photographer's perspective, how can you tell about how time is managed? Yeah, I'm happy to. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Crystal. Yeah. So um, how it's managed is we usually have just one or two of us, depending on the scene. Um, step up and start photographing the different scenes and oftentimes Kevin actually has two scenes going so that um, we can split up like that um, and there's usually what anywhere between eight to 12 on any given day so it's not like it's oh that's the wrong one it's um, crystalsummerbear.com is my branding one Kevin. That's okay. I still um, like to see this website too. Okay. Yeah I mean I do I have actually taken a lot of what I learned and I'm you know dived into this website and changed it but yeah um and he's pretty good so there's always someone there because there's the team behind Kevin so there's always someone there just making sure that you know people aren't spending too much time at the front of the line and um and if there is ever an issue that does come up you know somebody always steps in and just make sure everybody gets their time that's never been an issue like everybody every single photographer always gets the time they need to photograph what they need to photograph and uh, Kevin makes sure of it and sometimes he sends you back to re-photograph it to reshoot a scene so yeah exactly that exactly that's exactly right thank you Crystal and that that does happen because you know what um, I guarantee that you're going to photograph the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime and the greatest video you've ever shot in your lifetime at these epic photographic workshops and as you can see here with Crystal's website this content's amazing. I mean, look at this incredible video that she shot. Um, this was at the Las Vegas workshop, as you can see streaming here, and it's unbelievable content. And by the way, Crystal shot a lot of this on the gimbal herself, um, but even though a lot of the other uh, attendees participated, but Crystal shot a ton of this on the gimbal herself because she's actually really, really good at the gimbal. Um, but what Crystal was saying, um, Mark, is that it's really important to, um, to go with the flow um, and shoot as much content as possible and then move through the scenes. And we shoot so many scenes. Now, it depends on the workshop. And Crystal's been to almost all of them. <laughs> Crystal, I think you've been to, you know, LA, New York, Miami, Chicago, Vegas. You've been to literally all the workshops. And I know you're signed up for French Castle and all the upcoming experiences too. Um, so she has a lot of... Um, a lot of experience with it. Um, but what uh, what she was mentioning too is that there's multiple scenes going on simultaneously, which is actually really unusual. Um, I have a, a large team there. So what we can do is I have so much lighting equipment that we can shoot. And by the way, this is at the New York workshop, as you can see here. And beautiful, seamless video too. I like this, Crystal. You have video to video to video. You have some from, I think, the, you know, maybe the Newport workshop to the um, uh, to the Vegas workshop, to the um, New York workshop, they all kind of work seamlessly. So beautiful job there, Crystal. Um, and it plays really seamlessly here. Uh, but what um, what she was saying is we can shoot and you can be photographing scenes. And instead of waiting around, we have a whole nother set going so that you can move to the next set and photograph the next scene. So th there's very little waiting time. There's a lot of shooting and it's a really fun opportunity that you guys get to create this amazing, ama oh, I love these with the baby goats. This was shot at the Newport Beach Workshop last year. 
Um, unbelievable, unbelievable story. <laughs> These are great, Crystal, by the way. Um, but, uh, but, you know, you're able to shoot a lot of content and it's it's set up for you to just create, create, create and photograph amazing content in a very controlled environment under my guidance. And if I feel like, you know, you guys have mastered it, we move on. And if I feel like you need to, you know, shoot more of it and really get a better version of it, then I make you do it again, because I am a perfectionist. I want to make sure that you guys walk away with the greatest images of your lifetime, just like Crystal has. Really proud of you. Um, okay. Uh, Carrie Wetzel, uh, who attended Virginia also um, is um, uh, mentioning some comments too. He says, I attended the Virginia workshop and you will have a ton of time to shoot for yourself and you can shoot till you get uh, what you want. And the models worked hard and made the shots for all the drivers and all shooters are always thinking of each other and we all have fun and get the shots and everything Kevin says is exactly what happens. So if you can, it's worth it and a ton of fun and the experience is wonderful. Thank you so much, Carrie. Uh, that's a glowing recommendation. Um, you were wonderful to work with yourself, Carrie. Thank you so much. Um, great to see you there at the workshop. Um, and it was a really special experience at the Virginia workshop. Um, really, really uh, amazing. Um, in fact, this year at the Virginia workshop, we shot with 13 polo horses. Uh, we shot at these multi-million dollar polo estates. And we also shot with kangaroos as well as baby lemurs. So that was a really unique experience. Um, and this is a different version of a website. So, so Chris, since we were on Crystal's website right here, um, she's really making this branding photo plus video. So she's really making it more about the video version of the photography. And I want to comment on that. I, I actually love this idea uh, because right now, a lot of photographers are transitioning to be becoming more video prevalent. And I think that's genius because a lot of clients want this desperately, absolutely want this desperately now. It's really, really vital um, and important. So um, uh, so anyway, um, and I'd love to um, have... Uh, um, have Priscilla jump on here shortly and um, answer some of these questions as well, because she can um, also, if you guys have any questions for our wonderful production coordinator, by the way, that video you just saw there that was streaming, there was a clip of who shot with a Highland cow with wine, with cheese. We had a food stylist on set. Um, we had all of that all in one sequence with like four models in a scene. It was unbelievable, really unbelievable. Um, but Crystal has this great video sequence that brings you in also has um uh, a little uh, testimonial or a little like um, bio about herself. And then you go down and you get to see her photography scrolling down and you get to see, you know, some different gorgeous work. And by the way, Crystal won, I believe, number eight fashion photographer in America um, this year. And um, she just won. So I'm really, really proud of you, Crystal. So congratulations on that. Um, and as you can see, these images are really powerful. These are, I mean, these are ridiculous. The unbelievable sequences. So no wonder you won um, because you deserve it. <laughs> Top 10 Fashion Photographer in America Award. Um, really, really proud of you. Um, absolutely fabulous, um, Crystal. It looks incredible. Thank so, you so much. Yeah, and, I really Crystal, appreciate it. You've shot, you've done, uh, which workshops have you attended? Uh, Miami, or uh, sorry, uh, Newport, Vegas, Miami, uh, New York, Masterclass. So I'm missing France, Chicago, and then Virginia, which is, think, you know, you know, is, is a brand new one. So excellent. Excellent. Love it. Love it. So she's tried them all. Now, Crystal, tell us a little bit about why, um, what you liked about attending the different locations because you know sometimes that's that's like you know why why are photographers traveling around the country to come to all the different workshops we tell us a little bit about why you went to all the different locations well part of it is it's it showcases you as um a high-end professional when you are photographing um all over the country and the world i know you guys are possibly thinking about doing australia which is super exciting and i really want to do because i want to position myself as being that you know a uh, fashion photographer that happens to do weddings across the globe and um too many photographers really pigeonhole themselves into local markets and only doing local and yes i'm in california and california is gorgeous but when you showcase something that's clearly New York or clearly Miami or clearly out in the desert somewhere, it just it show, also showcases that you can photograph in a myriad of different scenarios in which the sunlight isn't that perfect golden hour look. It is in the middle of the day with bright light and in all those different situations. So it just it really positions yourself and it's a lot, it just gives you a lot, a lot more gravitas. 
I love it. Love it. That's a great answer. And I think that Crystal, it really showcases in these pictures we're looking at because these are award-winning images, many of them. Um, and, and and also I've gotten you published in some editorials, which I've been really proud of as well, um, which you've got some unbelievable work. Uh, but what Crystal was talking about is showcasing that she's a national brand because you as a photographer, you got to think of yourself more than just a creative artist. You're also a brand. And Crystal, I, I think you do this really intelligently, Crystal, because when I look at your website, it's all about the brand and it's all about a brand that you're representing. And this is who you are. You are what is showcased on your website. It, 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 you're one and the same. So when you're showcasing this brand, and by the way, we saw another version of Crystal on her, her um, consumer website, which is very different. It's a very different brand. You know, so if you go to her consumer website, you get to see, you know, pictures, it's more portraiture, it's kind of a little bit more innocent, it has this, you know, sweetness to her, by the way, that was shot at the workshop right there. But then she's got these group scenes from her clients like this, and, you know, pretty beautiful, you know, kind of feel very different style, though. And I think this is totally okay. She has separate brands for her separate brands of who she is. And I love that I do the same thing. You guys yeah, I actually found that specifically the lifestyle of the masterclass and that things I'm able to actually use that to market for high school seniors. Yes. Um, and so that's where I was like, you know what, this is an amazing photograph and it looks like a high school senior. I'm going to use it as such. And then it's down in Malibu mountains. So that, you know, yeah. I love it. And, and Crystal, you're really a national brand now. And I, you know, you've got New York, you've got desert, which is Vegas. You know, you've got this airfield. Where is that? You know, even, you know, it was out in LA. You've got this amazing Rocky Mountain. You've got this incredible airfield again. You've got this crazy gate, which almost looks like it's in Europe. Um, this was out in Long Island. You've got, I mean, all these different variations and in studio, you've got a, a large variation of who you are. And I really am, am, am impressed at that. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful work. Um, and then this beautiful resort lifestyle content. Love this. Really, really powerful. Um, and I would say, Crystal, that my, my suggestion to you is that as gorgeous as all this is, I still would um, make this, it's like, I love this image. I want to have a very distinct lifestyle brand of yours. And this doesn't fit, this woman right there, but this does. So a very distinct lifestyle brand that's very, um, and then you've got food, which is kind of a whole nother beast. So food is kind of outside of that, but this kind of content, like you have in Miami or this one right here and some of this fun lifestyle stuff, um, I would have that as one crystal brand. And then I would have another brand as this fashion crystal brand. And then you've got your portraiture, which you already have on a separate website. Um, but I think just separating that and having a lifestyle brand and a fashion brand um, would make this even more cohesive into the point because the work is so strong um, but I also don't want to get distracted because I don't want somebody looking at this and thinking you're this high fashion photographer. And then they look at this lifestyle stuff and she's a totally different photographer, the softer side of you kind of thing. Yeah. And the lifestyle, the, the high end lifestyle versus the um, more intimate, intimate brands is what I call them. Personal brands. Obviously they're going to look different because personal, small personal brands can't afford oftentimes the, uh, yeah, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. But this is wonderful. I'm, I'm really, really proud of you, Crystal. I can't believe how far you've come. You've completely catapulted in your photography um, as far as your brand, your website, and how everything is being showcased to the world. So thank you so much. I, I really um, appreciate that, Crystal. And, and thanks for being such an incredible uh, photographer at our, our epic experiences. So I'd like to bring on the great um, Priscilla Evans. Um, she is um, an inspiration because she's the production coordinator. And if you guys got to see all those incredible things like in her images from uh, rearing horses to falcons to owls to photographing with alpacas to baby goats to kangaroos, all the craziness that we've been shooting, Priscilla is the master that's behind it. In addition to that, she's also hooked up unbelievable locations like $40 million mansion estates um, in um, the New York area in Greenwich, Connecticut uh, to shoot these mind-blowing, mind-blowing locations. And, uh, and she's behind her incredible photographers that she coaches and mentors like Scott Goodwin, for instance, and Crystal Bear and Mike Wylett, who all won um, in the top 10 fashion photographers in America this year. So, um, you know, in, in a lot of this production and world-class content that you see here, Priscilla is one of the masterminds behind this. So I'd love, uh, Priscilla, for you to jump on and talk a little bit about that as far as, you know, what, what is important, Priscilla, 
to a website, why a website's important these days, what you need to see on it, and also like the level of production, you know, why that's important to a photographer's website as far as, you know, branding them and taking them to the next level. Sure. Yeah. Hey guys, it's great to, great to join you all. And I'm definitely just one of, uh, one of the masterminds behind all of this. Um, it definitely takes a team and it's a pretty big team too, when you consider that we're spreading internationally now, but it takes a team to produce, you know, these productions at the scale that we do them at. And that's a big part of it is just considering the time alone that it can take to, you know, to create just one of these scenes in New York last year, we did 39 of them. So, you know, it's, a lot of that is about, you know, how much um, do you value your own time as well as, you know, as um, well as photographers, as business owners um, and everything else that goes alongside that. Sometimes it is more worthwhile and more cost effective to have someone else take care of the production. You put in your requests, hey, I want to have horses or this kind of look or feel based off of, you know, this vision board um, for the types of clients I'm angling for next year. Um, so if you can come up with something, you know, that fits this, then I'm happy and, you know, leave the rest to us. So a lot of the time that's, you know, the story of the photographer attending as well. Um, but definitely, you know, it's, it's all about branding. Branding is the number one pillar in the three pillars of having a successful business in, in photography, you know, branding being number one, marketing that brand being number two. And then of course, um, the sales side of that and actually, you know, locking in those clients. So, um, you know, in terms of the brand, it really does, and the website, it, it really does set the bar. It sets the upper bar for, you know, what your maximum budget really could be that you land, you know, the, the year to come or however long that, that website is up there. So, you know, with um, that in mind, I often hear from like photographers and from um, as well clients that, oh, well, you know, why, why would we want to position ourselves for, you know, that, that seems too far out of reach, you know, a six figure, even a five figure budget seems too far. But the thing is that you're limiting yourself if you, if you have that mindset. And if you don't have a brand that reflects that, you know, that, that higher end brand will always still cater to your current clients. They'll always be, you know, there's nothing wrong with them being more impressed and even a little intimidated that you might be too expensive or that you might be too good for what their brand needs. Um, you know, you can always negotiate and come down, but it definitely sets the upper bar. And for the high-end clients, for the commercial clients, and for, you know, the ad agencies, for any decision makers that are looking at that, that website or that brand, um, the website is obviously just one part of it, but usually the most important part, especially if your portfolio is up there, um, you know, you really want to make sure that you're not ruling out any potential clients by not having, you know, that brand catered to just about everyone and catered to the best of the best. So, you know, you want to make sure that it ticks all the boxes and, you know, some checklist points, I suppose, in, in looking at that, you might want to ask yourself how many images in your portfolio consist of your clients. And one of the top 10 mistakes that we talked about in a separate webinar that photographers often make is showcasing your clients. Now, it's not to say that it's, you know, you should never, ever, ever in the whole world have one there. Most of the time, though, you probably shouldn't. And the reason for that is that an image shot for a client or an image shot for any other brand even, um, you know, it's, it's going to have a different look and a different feel than if that image is shot for you and for your brand. So, you know, with that in mind, you want to be showcasing, um, you know, the best look and feel and the highest production value, the most insane, impactful, you know, um, just wow and dazzle type moments, as Kevin calls them, in that portfolio, because you only have a few moments, like 40, even if, you know, even if that seems like a lot, it's really only a few compared to what you've probably shot in your entire lifetime. So you have to be really selective and really specific about what you put there. You also need to think about who you're goal clients are, who the dream clients are, or the prospective clients, who are you reaching out to, and who is looking at this. Um, and that should also dictate sort of the feel and the, the flavor, you know, that you've got in that portfolio. Cohesion is also super important. You want to make sure that you don't feel like you're 10 different photographers in the one portfolio. If that's the case, we either need to start some different websites, have some separate brands going, which is totally fine. It can seem overwhelming, but in reality, it's like, what, $100 to $200 to have a separate website going you know, for the year. So um, sometimes it's worth doing that and sort of having your lifestyle or your commercial brand over here. This is where you have, you know, different, um, uh, you know, multiple model scenes or, you know, it might be happy, healthy people having fun, enjoying life. It's a different feel that, you know, Pepsi or Coca-Cola are going to want um, as opposed to what your fashion clients or your wedding clients or, you know, someone else might want. 
Um, and it's also something that I would um, say is with those, with analyzing your images and, and if it's hard to do, sometimes it's worthwhile having someone else do that for you and cast, you know, an objective eye over, um, you know, your work to see what, what the feel is that they get from it straight away. You know, when you're looking at, looking at your own website for years on end, sometimes you forget um, and you lose touch with what that initial you know, five second impact is of the person or upon the person who's viewing it for the first time. Um, so we're always here for that. If you need to have that objective view, um, feel free to contact us and request, you know, an image or a portfolio review. We do those a lot. Um, and um, yeah, definitely thinking about the budgets and looking at that, it's always worthwhile to have people in your brand. So, you know, one, um, for example, with the food and beverage side that um, I think we saw a few images of before, one angle of that, you know, if you are a food and beverage photographer, for example, and you just have a portfolio of incredible food, it might be Michelin star food, it might be, you know, prepared by the greatest food stylist in the world. You have to ask yourself, are you limiting yourself from, you know, the client that might want people? Because the you know, having people in your portfolio is always going to land you bigger budgets with the prospective campaigns, you know, a whole foods campaign or a pharmaceutical campaign involving people is always going to have a much bigger budget than the product shot you know, if that's all your portfolio is, there's product shots of the pharmaceutical product or food shots of the food and beverage. So think about incorporating people to land bigger budget campaigns and also tick the box of satisfying the food clients that just want the stills. It's having people in it isn't going to turn them away. Um, so think about the scope of what your, you know, your website allows you to have access to in terms of potential clients. Um, we've talked about production value. We've talked about um, models, obviously top models, recognizable faces. If you're going for the down the agency pathway, they do recognize those names and faces. I hear from a lot of photographers that have attended workshops and then gone in for meetings that the conversation has literally started with, how did you get Valena Paterba in your book? And it's, you know, the way, the way in with that agency. So being able to have access to the best of the best models, unfortunately, it's not as simple as just having the budget for the best models. A lot of the time, the industry, the way it, it works, um, whether or not we always like it is that you have to have a way in normally through someone that's either worked with them before, has a history with them, has a past, or at least has a brand that opens the door. And if you don't currently, then that's another reason why photographers end up, you know, taking workshops is because, you know, Kevin's wealth of experience and network and collection of, you know, all of this incredible talent around the world. Um, you know, that's something that is really hard and time consuming. Often it takes years to be able to get access to them. So it's a shortcut, you know, for, for many photographers. Um, so yeah, I mean, branding is definitely where it all starts. It all comes back to that. If you're wanting to increase, you know, the, the budgets, make more money, if it's a case of you're wanting to work less and, and earn more per, per shoot, it comes down to what are you showcasing and what does your current website and social and print promo pieces and everything that goes alongside the brand and what people are seeing when they look you up you know, it comes down to what that reflects in terms of a dollar figure, in terms of a, a type of photography. Um, and if that means having multiple brands and keeping them separated, then it's important to manage that. But um, yeah, I mean, once it's there, it really should be there for a long time. You shouldn't have to be adjusting the website daily. If you're in a rut of doing this, or you feel like you're spending all your time on your website, you're not you know, managing it very well, unfortunately. So, you know, you want to have that website done. It really doesn't need to be very complicated. A beautiful portfolio, ideally show video as well, because most clients these days do want it. Um, even if you don't actually want to shoot video or you don't even know how to turn on a video camera, you can have a video reel on your website, mark up, talk to the prospective client, land that job, bring on a videographer and take a piece home of video with you. So, you know, you get a piece of the budget of that without having to do any of the work. It's literally money for nothing just by showcasing a fantastic reel. And all of our photographers that attend or videographers that attend workshops, um, they all get a fully edited video reel that gets sent home with them. We actually pay a separate team to edit video um, from all the workshops. So everyone owns all the video collectively from every different um, scene. Often there's multiple scenes with multiple sets of video being shot at the exact same time on set. And that is fantastic. It means maximum amount of content from each workshop. But um, the great thing is that when it's all pieced together, everyone gets access. So, you know, it's crazy not to showcase it. You may as well put it up there and um, yeah, land as many, as many clients as possible by keeping the doors as widely open as you can with the way that you showcase your brand.
So Priscilla, you've had the chance to work with some of our favorite photographers, including these award-winning photographers, including Mike Wylett and Crystal Bear and Scott Goodwin. What do you feel like is the secret sauce that got them, uh, uh, that gave them the opportunity to win, to win in the top 10 fashion photographer in America award, which by the way, images like that end up really being impressive on the front of their website because they're so iconic. But can you tell us a little bit about what made those images win and why, um, uh, you know, what you've, what the workshops have done to help the photographers you've coached that have attended these epic workshops? Absolutely. I mean, I hear from a lot of photographers, especially at, at the beginning of a conversation with them, oh, everyone has a camera these days. Everyone has a phone and everyone has a camera. And it's like, well, yeah, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that they can take iconic imagery on those you know devices just because we all have one what makes the difference is when we kind of take this back to the old school roots of photography and we have a huge production team on set we make this an enormously you know well planned highly um, art directed and perfectly executed um, week it's a week long you know event these these workshops of course you can take fewer days if you don't want to come for the full five but um, you know for those that do come for the full five days We've got so many different scenes over the course of that week that, you know, you, you can't not <laughs> get iconic imagery from it. Um, and we do offer that guarantee as well. So, you know, it's about having a team behind you. It's about not having to take care of the lighting and the equipment and look at the models and dress and do it all yourself. You know, if you are on your current productions, you know, because the budgets aren't big enough to allow for a team, then you know, this is where the workshops help so much because you've got so many people behind you that you can just focus specifically on, you know, the visual side of it and perfecting it, you know, from, from that, you know, composition all the way through to just the perfect art direction and, and making sure that what you're shooting basically doesn't need any retouching because it's, it's perfect straight out of camera. So, you know, it's about the scale of production when we have the budgets that we do when, when, you know, everyone pulls together basically to be able to put these huge events on, um, we can just go wild basically and, and create absolutely amazing content that's timeless and award-winning. And uh, I think we had, oh, you'll have to remind me, Kevin, but was it like 17 different winners in the One Island this year? And, um, you know, I'm sure more to come because there's, there's future rounds of that too. But um, I mean, that's just incredible. And it, that was a really competitive year, by the way. Last year, I think the content, we're all kind of discussing that, but it was definitely more competitive last year than any of the COVID years. Um, so yeah, amazing things to come. But, you know, if other top photographers are stepping it up, we've got to do that too and make sure that the content that you've got that you're showcasing is going to last a lifetime and absolutely like blow the socks off anyone that sees your brand. Absolutely. And I mean, we're looking at some of the images here shot at the last masterclass, by the way. Um, and you notice the variety too. I mean, these were all, this was all at one workshop, but the variety from the different days, from lifestyle days at the masterclass, uh, such as this, to um, some of the high fashion production days with like a tribal fashion story and out in the desert with fire. And this is actually real fire, by the way. Um, and uh, and then also, um, you know, shooting with with horses, shooting at a multi-million dollar mansion, Beverly Hills with these glamorous dresses. And then of course, shooting with an airfield and uh, the amazing like 1932 racer, um, which uh, was really incredible because actually won in the awards. This is actually one. And, and by the way, Priscilla hooked that up. So Priscilla was the incredible uh, mind behind um, coordinating a 1932 race car that was very specific and requested by photographers um, at this masterclass. So incredible experience. And, and, you know, and by the way, I mean, Scott Goodwin is a world-class photographer. He's a really successful photographer, but he wanted to take it up a notch by attending the um, the masterclass. And he's also attending the Newport Beach workshop next week, which I'm really, really excited about. So, um, and I know Scott, uh, good to see you. I know you're on this webinar, so it's good to uh, see you. And also, uh, of course, we're ogling at your beautiful uh, photography <laughs> here, which is which is fantastic. Uh, well, thank you so much, Priscilla. That was some great insight. I really appreciate everything you do and you are a rock star. And by the way, guys, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one photographic portfolio review with one of our photographic consultants, um, anyone on our team, and Priscilla is one of them, um, you can also uh, uh, set up a um, uh, in the link in the chat and go ahead and click on that and set up a one-on-one uh, um, -on -one photographic strategy session with one of our elite photographic consultants to help you. It's totally free. It's totally worth doing. Um, and I definitely recommend it.
All right, guys. Uh, so um, I, I did want to get into uh, before we uh, um, I just want to move on to the next thing, which is, you know, I, I we, we're talking about websites, which is critical, and important. But I also want to talk about social. And I also wanted to talk about, um, you know, between uh, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram, because obviously that's really important. So uh, I'm going to look at a few examples of, of pages that I think are really strong um, on Facebook, LinkedIn and um, Instagram. Um, and specifically, um, let's start with LinkedIn. Now, I personally, I feel like I have a great LinkedIn. This is something that I would recommend you guys emulate. Um, I currently have, um, uh, well, if you look at my network here, um, I have uh, a pretty substantial 20,000 contacts, 17,240 connections. Um, and it, you know, so I have this strong gravitas of, um, you know, of who is viewing um, my portfolio and um, my photography and um, who I am. So if you look through here and I would recommend you guys also build out your um, uh, LinkedIn. So you have the same type of movement here. You have 813 profile views, 1047 impressions. I think it's pretty solid for LinkedIn. And if you go down, you can see it like all of the experience of the different productions and stuff that I have from television productions to photographic productions. Um, and all this amazing stuff that I have listed here. So um, definitely make sure that your um, you have uh, in your logos for your quote unquote companies within LinkedIn have a logo or an image on it, a banner image. A lot of times you guys don't, and there's just like a blank one. So definitely keep that updated. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, you can Google how to add a um, uh, like a banner image to your company in LinkedIn, but make sure that there is one there and then also post your projects. So you can post projects of projects that you've done, for instance, like, you know, if you have a video reel or a photographic portfolio or something, um, really valuable to have that on your um, LinkedIn as well. I think it's really important. Um, and these, of course, uh, for instance, this links over to my uh, video reel. So this is my video reel of content that I, um, that I film. And um, and it's all from my LinkedIn page. Now make sure you guys have something like this too, so it's super strong, so that when people go to it, they can be wowed and dazzled about all your work. Um, and this is all hosted on my LinkedIn page. So definitely recommend that, guys. Make sure your LinkedIn is on point because now more than ever before, especially after COVID and stuff, everybody um, is on LinkedIn and maybe they're a little less likely to meet you in person and they might not be working in the in the office, but they might be working remotely. All the more reason if you're trying to showcase not only your website, but who you are as a brand, your LinkedIn should be part of your brand and definitely part of your marketing process, okay? So reach out to people with your LinkedIn. I message them. I recommend using Sales Navigator um, as well, because that's kind of like a premium form of LinkedIn where I can market to people. I can message them and stuff like that. So I can reach out to creative directors and stuff like that. Also, there is a way to import um, and join your contacts. And by the way, this is kind of a secret strategy, but um, LinkedIn's changed it over the years. You used to be able to just import a database of 60,000 decision makers into LinkedIn and all of a sudden it just accepts them. You know, you get thousands of acceptance immediately. They've changed it since then. So I kind of have a secret sauce of how I do it, um, how I'm able to import large database like agency access into LinkedIn and connect with those decision makers. I go in depth about it um, during our um, marketing workshop. It's a virtual workshop. It's a, um, a six hour intensive that you can watch on, um, uh, on your own time. And you can also have permanent access to it, but I definitely recommend that it's 1295 for that photographic virtual workshop on marketing your photography. We also have one on photographic portfolio development and developing your website. Um, and then we also have one on um, closing the deal as far as the sales side of photography. I recommend those three. They are the three pillars of photography. And it's something that I strongly recommend to get involved with. Um, so if you guys want to uh, get involved with those epic experiences, uh, you can go ahead and I will send you guys the link if you wanted to enroll. And the best part of it is, is not only are those experiences will completely catapult yourself in the photography space to market yourself, to make more money, to be more successful in photography, but it will also give you the opportunity to, um, uh, be able to use that 1295, that full enrollment as a free um, full enrollment, that 1295 will count 100% towards any future five-day workshop. So a lot of our photographers that end up enrolling um, in the virtual workshops, they end up using that as a $1,300 credit towards any of the five-day workshops. So it ends up being free. 
I just sent you guys a link in the chat. So go ahead and click on that and you can go ahead and enroll through the website right there. Um, and that is an awesome opportunity. And if you guys want to specify which uh, workshop, once you enroll, uh, that you want to apply it to, you can let us know as well. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is built out. It has all of my um, information, my education, my um, background, and all my companies. Um, and uh, I think this is a really valuable thing. I'm also going to showcase you to some um, Instagrams that I feel like are really strong. Um, one of my favorite photographers um, I'm going to showcase on social is Yusai. He's one of um, the most famous uh, celebrity photographers right now. He does, um, he's shooting Vogue, Vanity Fair, Vogue, um, Murray Claire. Um, he does the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue every year. Um, and I really like his social just because it's very concise and clean and well-branded. So when you go to it, it all looks really, really consistent. You just have a consistent look, feel, and style of his work. And of course you see a ton of Harper's Bazaar and um, uh, Vogue covers. And uh, he's got a really clean, consistent look, feel, and style to his Instagram page. Um, and then he has some great stories here. This is a really nice, concise brand. Uh, he has a half million followers, um, but I bet he also probably gets a lot of um, responses. Yeah, he's getting like, you know, like a thousand um, comments on a lot of these and or a thousand likes and 60 comments on, on a lot of these posts, which is great. Um, but I think that something like this is a really strong way of showcasing an Instagram page. Um, I still though, even though you say, you know, world-class photographer, as he is, he still does have a website, a photography website. And I recommend you guys do the same. So can't just get by on your social, but I do think it is an important tool. Um, one of the reasons I don't just get by in social is that unless you have one of these blue tick marks, um, <laughs> it makes it a little harder to get in touch with people. Oftentimes on social media, on Instagram specifically, if you message somebody, oftentimes you're going into their kind of like junk man, junk messaging, and they don't immediately get your message. They have to look into their message requests. So because of that, you know, I feel like you're missing out on a lot of opportunities because, you know, if you contact say a hundred people, these are say decision makers, creative directors, or maybe you're a portrait photographer and you're contacting people who might want to book you or something. Um, but say you contact 100 people, you might only get 10 or 20 that might respond. A lot of them will just sit in their message requests, right? And, you know, and that makes it a little bit more difficult. So I recommend something like LinkedIn because LinkedIn, you're going to get a much, much, much higher response rate because you're messaging them. It immediately goes into their inbox and they generally respond. So it's uh, it's a really great way to connect. But I really like just the cohesion of this. I like how the images kind of work really well together. Um, and obviously it helps having some major covers and stuff too, um, but very, very impressive. So, um, but definitely keeping it consistent, concise, um, and keeping that social media um, powerful um, and making it all branded. So it brands really, really well with Usai and his work because it all correlates really, really well uh, with all uh, aspects of his brand and who he is. Um, so, uh, you know, so if I go to Usai's website, um, it kind of emulates that as well. Kind of works really well in conjunction. And he has a lot of his advertising campaign stuff too. And by the way, this is kind of a good example. I mean, a lot of photographers would like, oh man, I wish I could shoot the cover of Vogue or I wish I could shoot Sports Illustrated. Yes, maybe so. But photographers that shoot that, they're doing it to land the campaigns, just like you say. I mean, he's doing it, but he's not really making much money on those editorials. He's making the real money off of shooting these campaigns based upon him getting those published in those big editorials. So it leads to these big campaigns, So it's, you know, it's kind of interesting. You look at the first thing that comes up is advertising on his website. And all you see is advertising campaigns, including, you know, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, um, including Cisco Systems, including, you know, water, um, you know, and then of course there's some beauty and there's some Coca-Cola campaigns. So it's kind of interesting, but remember all photographers, even the ones that shoot the big fashion editorials, the goal, the end goal is usually to land those campaigns to land these big campaigns. And that's why they shoot the editorials is for the purpose of that brand and that prominence and who you are as a photographer. All right, guys. Um, I think that uh, I kind of touched on a lot today from website development, um, what looks good on a website, what's strong, what to look for, having a 40 image cohesive body of work. And I mean, cohesive, meaning everything kind of flows together. It doesn't kind of look weird. It doesn't look off off, you know, target where you've got, you know, stuff that's all over the place and crazy. I, I want it, you know, you don't want like a landscape picture next to a portrait, next to a fashion shot, next to, you know, swimsuit photography. I want it cohesive. So it all works really clean in conjunction 
with each other, you know, just like I, I just saw on size website, right? Cohesion is really important, but also having at least a 40 image cohesive body of work. And out of that 40 image cohesive body of work and your portfolio on your website, as well as in your physical portfolio, but also having at least 25 to 30 of those images as iconic, iconic images, images that stand the test of time, that are clean, that are powerful, that are wow, that just wow and dazzle the audience that just make them completely, oh my gosh, all right, yeah, that is iconic. These are world-class images that I will never forget. You know, we want those. We want those unbelievable world-class images that just, just go off the page and just wow and dazzle and draw people in. That's what we're looking for, guys. So if you don't have those just yet, then I strongly recommend getting involved with the photography workshop series and shooting the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime and creating mind-blowing content just like this, shooting it, whether we're coming to the New York workshop that where this was shot at, coming to Newport Beach like we're doing next week, uh, as well as in shooting high-end lifestyle commercial advertising, or going to the Las Vegas workshop and shooting with supermodels out in the desert and creating these mind-blowing stories, photographing with incredible dappled horses and rearing horses and hawks and eagles and owls and winning awards. You know, I mean, Priscilla touched on it earlier, but we've now won. I mean, it's getting to the point where I believe I'm, I'm trying to keep track of it now, but we're reaching around 200 photographic awards um, in the photography workshop series between um, the last few years that we've been uh, directing these epic and what we've been doing it for 14 years, but the, by the time I've been actually keeping track of all the awards we've won in the last few years, it is getting to be close to 200 photographic awards, including winning every single year in the top 10 fashion photographers in America award. really proud of that. And I think that the photography workshop series is obviously becoming making photographers far more successful, creating these mind blowing stories and giving them the opportunity to create the greatest images that they've ever shot in their lifetime, guaranteed. So uh, whether we also have our Virginia workshop, which is all lifestyle, as well as our Chicago experience, uh, which is kind of a vintage Mad Men story. Um, and then, of course, the French castle, which is what gets me really excited because it's my 49 room 13th century castle, uh, where we are bringing in supermodels from Milan and Paris, and you'll have the opportunity to photograph over a four day massive scale production. You get to stay there for six days, five nights and stay in my castle and have an experience of a lifetime creating mind blowing content. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. And I look forward to seeing you building your epic content at our photographic workshops that you can use just like all the amazing photographers we saw today and creating content that will stand the test of time and be there to help book you more opportunities and develop your photographic portfolio to the highest level and make your brand completely sync. I look forward to seeing you in person.